So there are a variety of ways that um, you can interface between R with the outside world. Uh, and generally speaking, uh, there are functions uh, that, that are used to kind of open up what are called connections to the outside world. Um, usually, you want to, the most common type of connection is to is to a file. So, for example, if you want to read a file, um, then you can you can create a file connection. You might want, to, for example, o a read a compressed file. Or that's a slight variation on that. Uh, and most functions will do this in the background without you having to know what's going on. So, for example, when you call read.table with a and you pass it the name of a file, what it does behind the scenes is it opens up a file connection to that file and then reads from that file connection. But connection can be made to other types of um, uh, objects too. For example, you can open a connection to a web page uh, using the URL function. And so when you open a connection to a web page, you can read data from that web page using the URL connection. And so the idea behind the connection interfaces is that it kind of that it abstracts out uh, the mechanism for connecting to different types of objects that are external to R, whether they be files or web pages or whatever. So the file uh, function is the a function that opens a connection to a standard uh, uncompressed file. Um, so this this can be useful for text files for re for reading in uh, other types of text files. Uh, GZ file and BZ file are used for opening connections to compressed data files. So GZ file is used for um, files that are compressed with the gzip algorithm, and BZ file is used for is for opening connections to files compressed with the bzip2 algorithm. Um, Files that are compressed with gzip usually have a gz uh, extension, and files compressed with bzip2 usually have a bz2 extension. Uh, so the file function here has a few arguments. The description argument is the name of the file, and then there's a flag uh, that's called that goes to the open argument, and you have to know what the codes are. Basically, R is for reading, W is for writing, A is for appending, and then RB, WB, and AB are for reading, writing, appending on binary files. Uh, the other options for file are not particularly important at this time. So connections can be very powerful, and they can let you uh, navigate files uh, and other external objects in a more sophisticated way than just like reading the whole thing, for example. Um, and generally, you don't have to deal with the connection interface uh, in many cases, but sometimes it's useful. So, for example, so here I've got a simple example where I'm opening a, f a file connection to some file called foo.txt. I'm going to open it for reading. Uh, I can call read.csv on the connection, and that by default will just read the entire file. Uh, and then I can close the connection. So that three-line process is the same as just calling read.csv on the file. Um, so it's, it's, in this case, there was no need to use the connection um, to read the file. However, sometimes a connection can be useful if you want to read parts of a file. Uh, so for example, here I've got the read lines function, um, which just reads lines from a text file. And I'm going to open up this uh, words.gz file. So this is a file that has uh, words in it. Uh, for, it's like a dictionary file. Uh, and it's compressed using the, GZ, the gzip algorithm. So I'm going to use the gz file function to open a connection to that. And I'm just going to read the first 10 lines. So now I'm going to use this connection and to read the first 10 lines. And here, the first 10 lines are printed out here, um, and you can see these are the first kind of 10 words in the file. And so similarly, write lines is a, is a function that can be used to write out lines of text to a file. And, each el and what you do is you pass write lines character vector, and each element of the character vector becomes a line in the text file. Uh, you can also use read lines to uh, read elements from a web page. So, for example, you can use the URL function to create a connection to uh, a website. So this website here is the Johns Hopkins School of Public Health website. Um, I'm going to open a connection there for reading. And then I'm going to read lines from this connection. Um, and so, uh, and, I'm, and then, and so the lines of text that come from the connection are going to be stored in this character vector x. So when I look at the first couple lines from x, you can see that it looks like um, HTML, which is kind of what you would expect. And so the URL function is useful for creating a connection to a, kind of a non-file object, and then using read.lines is useful to read the text from that connection. So this is another way to read data uh, beyond using functions like read.table or read.csv.